Hey equestrian gamers, Cooley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the latest update launched on Wild Horse Islands. I'm going to take you through a very quick look at each of the new features that they have brought in. There's some really, really cool, really exciting things they have added, which gives you a lot more to do in the game as well. There are four major new things that have been added in this update. We do have world events, server quest, new accessories and also new thoroughbreds. So we're going to start off with the world events. Now it does seem like they might, maybe, this is me just guessing that they will be adding more in the future. That's just a guess. I have no idea. But one of the events is called Wild Horse Herds. What happens is that it will pop up on your screen on the right hand side that there's an event happening. And it will come up with the Wild Horse Herds and the location like mainland. So a ton of horses, so a whole group of horses will suddenly be added and they're running around as a herd and the whole server can get involved to try and capture all of these horses. So it's definitely a group effort which is really cool, it brings a lot of players together and to have something else to do together as well. So far I've seen the herds be quarter horses and paints. So I am interested to see whether they're going to also be other breeds like thoroughbreds or Frisians or anything like that. So that will be interesting to see. Next up is server quests. Now there is quite a few of them as well. There is a nice variety. I took part in the one where you all work together to capture 210 horses. So we were successful, the server did reach that goal. So that was cool, just running around capturing as many horses as quickly as possible, which is what I normally do in game. So it worked out quite well for me. The other server quests that I know of at this stage is things like harvest 250 resources or catch 100 fish. So there is a few different ones. Another server quest is called Locked Cave Access. There are three new caves on mainland, desert and mountain island which are locked until this game is played. So they do unlock it for the whole server and you can actually get some really good ores from doing this little mini game. You can even get ores that are actually higher level than the island they are on. So it's great for players who don't have access to every single island in game. It gives them an opportunity to get some really, really good resources. Now it does, they do definitely respawn, it just takes a while, so use your 15 minutes, chill out in the cave and wait for the ores to respawn. There are now three new accessories that you can purchase for tokens, so tokens not robux, from the accessory store. We now have available three types of tail roses and they are so cute and they match the rose crown which makes me so happy. I love it when it's all matching. So you can now get the red rose tail, pink rose tail and the white rose tail. So they are absolutely gorgeous, super pretty. They sit on the horse's tail very nicely as well. This is definitely something that needed to be added so then we can finish off the looks on our horses with all roses. So very, very happy with that one. And finally, probably the part you've been waiting to see is the new thoroughbred coat colors. So they have brought in two new colors. Orig my original guesses were white, palomino 
and a pinto was my original guesses for the new colors they have brought in the white coat so the white thoroughbred is now in and they also brought in dapple palomino and oh my gosh i love this coat color so first off we will have a look at the white thoroughbred so this is my stallion that i purchased oh my goodness they've done such an awesome job i really really like the white frisian in the game so i knew i had to get my hands on a white thoroughbred as well there is so many different colors you can coordinate this horse with which is really really exciting and here is the dapple Palomino. Oh my gosh, guys. I am in love with this horse. This coat color is just stunning. Oh my gosh. So this is my mare that I purchased. She is all decked out with all her pretty tack. And absolutely stunning. But... I will also show you my other mare. So this is actually a Dapple Palomino mare that I caught in the wild. So I caught her on Jungle Island, which doesn't really surprise me because I really enjoy playing on that island. Like that's my go-to area. But this is the girl that I caught and it was awesome i actually thought it would take me a lot longer to catch a one of the new thoroughbreds in the wild and trust me it did take a while so probably between two and three hours of playing and just capturing horses to finally get this one here but I think she is beautiful. The chestnut mane and tail will probably have to get dyed. I'm not a huge fan of that detail. But she is still beautiful. And I'm so, so, so happy that I was able to capture her as well. Alrighty guys, I shall leave this video here. Now this is a reminder that all horses, every single one, of the horses on wild horse island can be caught in the wild there is no such thing as robux only horses i just wanted to throw out there um they actually have that they say that in their description when you do first look at the game but i just wanted to throw that out there to remind everyone that every single horse can be caught in the wild some are just more rare than others alrighty guys I shall leave it here and I shall catch you all in the next video